work less, enjoy hobbies, travel, and earn more while you do it. It was 2021, I was sitting in my room at my desk and I was starting to feel a little bit burnt out. Everything was going well in my company. I was getting better at my skills. I was closing more clients. My clients were staying on with my company. I have a calendar filled with meetings because I'm running ads and doing email campaigns and it's all going well. I closed two new clients that day. Each client is $1,500 per month. This means I added an extra $3,000 per month to my income and I should feel happy, but instead I feel empty. I realized I didn't actually care. I was spending so much time on growth in building my business. I was making over $10,000 per month in profit, but I was tired of the same old grind. I was tired of being in monk mode for this continuous period that seemed like forever. I then decided to book a two week trip to Playa del Carmen, Mexico. And I figured maybe I'm gonna lose a client or two. In fact, I don't even know how good the Wi-Fi is all the way out there. It was more of a getaway for me and I planned on putting in about four hours per day of work, which is much different than my normal eight to 12 hour days that I was doing in my business at the current time. So I go and I book the trip to Mexico, I arrive and it's everything I hoped it would be. It's super fun, I have an Airbnb, it's in the main area. I start making friends because I'm going out, there's different hostels I'm hanging out at. I am starting to get a glimpse of this like digital nomad life that I always wanted to have, that I always wanted to live. I spent some time on the beach, I spent some time at the gym, I start getting back into training, I'm doing Muay Thai, so I'm fighting again. I'm having a blast, this is exactly what I needed and even though I'm working very few hours and I turned off all my ads, so I didn't want to do any more sales calls. I wanted to be there, be present, and really just enjoy my time. And about a week in, I received a text from one of my clients and I thought it was someone that wanted to cancel. This guy was on the SaaS plan, so he was paying us $300 per month. And when I checked the text, he wanted to jump on a phone call. And when I called him, he told me he wanted to restart the ads that we had. And then I realized about a week into this trip, even though I'm working less than ever, instead of losing clients, I actually gained a client. So I'm actually making more money now. Interesting. I don't do many Zoom calls with my team at all. In fact, now it's maybe like once or twice a month. But I decide to jump on Zoom just to see how all the accounts are doing. I want to know how all the ads are performing. I wanna know how all the websites are, if everything's still going smoothly. And I realize I look at all the lead prices, I look at all the different services that we have and they're going well. My performance marketer, my virtual assistant is managing everything. I talked to my second virtual assistant, which is all I have at this point, And she's telling me it's going well. She's doing outreach on LinkedIn. She's emailing some of the clients. And then it hit me that I actually built this business in such a way that I'm not needed as much as I even thought. And I'm having so much fun being here in Mexico that I actually cancel my flight back to the US and I end up staying on for two months. And I stayed in this little beach town for much longer than I anticipated because I have time freedom. I have location freedom and I have financial freedom. So I can easily go book another Airbnb, stay in a nice spot. It didn't matter. And then I started to get back into journaling. I wanted to understand these questions of why don't I want to grow my agency anymore? Why was I feeling like I was burnt out? And I realized it's because I was overworking myself when I didn't need to. What I actually built was a productized service. I already had it figured out. We had enough clients. We had case studies. I put team members in place that could run basically this whole thing without me. The only thing that I was needed for was that initial sales call and then the onboarding call. So I just needed to get prospects interested. And again, I had the proven emails. I had the proven LinkedIn messages and I had the proven ads already built. So all I had to do was turn on the ads and my calendar started filling up with appointments. So if I wanted to turn on ads, what I could easily do is book myself out with two, three meetings a day and that's all I had to do. And then if I signed a client, I just had to do an onboarding call where I just show him everything that my virtual assistants have built and that they put together. My system works in every single city in the US. And that's the power that I had working with 
one specific business owner in one specific niche, I could take that business and I can clone it to anywhere that I wanted it to be and it's gonna work. It's already proven. We've done the testing. There was no more custom work. Even if someone signs up for a website, I had a contractor that was building all the websites for me. I was paying him five, $600 for a website and we were charging four, five, 6,000. We have all the proven ads. After I onboard you, it's off to the races. We just have to get access to your account and then it's done. I didn't have a large team that I needed to manage. I didn't have account managers. I didn't have salespeople or some crazy appointment setters. I had a lean and mean team, but it was extremely profitable and I could do what I want. As I started journaling more and more and I started writing about my goals and why I even got into this business in the first place, I realized it's because I wanted to travel. The reason I started this is not to give myself another high paying job. I wanted to have freedom. I wanted to have a location freedom. I wanted time freedom. And when I started as a freelancer, that's what was missing. When I was building websites for clients, I didn't have time. I would sign on a client and then it would take me a week to build that website. And then I have to go look for a new client. And it's the same thing that I see happening with these SMMA guys. They sign on some agency client and then they're gone in three months and then they're back to zero. I was providing software with services. So even if a client wanted to pause our ads, or maybe I had a client that wanted a website. So we built him a website, charged him thousands of dollars, but now we're also charging him $300 a month for automations, AI conversations, chatbots, review campaigns, everything else that we offer that's automated because you set it up one time. The crazy thing is I felt like I was still very productive and I was still moving my business forward even though I was working four hours a day. The reason for that is because I realigned my mission, I realigned my purpose with what the business is. I was able to identify the core activities of my business that move it forward. Now, of course, you can't always do this. When you're starting, I needed to work those long hours to put it together, to put it in place, but I had an end goal. After I built that business and it served its purpose, it took me about a year to year and a half to fully get it there. But after it was there, it was beautiful. It kept on running. I had all the proven systems in place. So I also invested in my future. I wasn't just freelancing. Think about it like this. When you were in school, and let's say you had some kind of project, and the project was due three months from then. What did most people do in school? They waited till the night before or two nights before, before they even got started on the project. And this is insane. What if you treat it every week like it's that night before the project? How much would you get done? I would come into my office and I would say, I only have four hours to work. What are the most important tasks? I didn't deal with any BS. I started outsourcing even more to my assistant than I had previously. And I started giving them more responsibility. And I realized that my team can handle it. My team of two virtual assistants. And this showed me the beauty of this business model when you set it up the right way. Most people will never experience this kind of freedom because when they wanna grow a business, they wanna to grow to 100K a month. I wanna make millions of dollars a year. And look, that's great. I have nothing against that. However, what is your goal? Where do you actually want to go? Do you just want to be financially free so you can travel, live in amazing places like this? I'm in Medellin, Colombia right now. Or do you want to have a massive team and do Zoom meetings every single day for 12 hours? As you hire on more people, more complexity comes. And I realized what I wanted was a high profit business that gave me freedom, that gave me a life that I really enjoyed. And even if being a digital nomad and traveling and having all this is not what you want. And you just want to make millions of dollars. You still want to have that freedom. You want to have the option to step back. Let me take two weeks off. Let me just take a break and just think. I call it a thinking trip. You go somewhere new. You change up your environment. You sit by the beach. You sit in a hammock. You sit somewhere else. You go someplace new that you haven't been and your brain starts to work in different ways. And so now you can start planning your next four moves, your next five moves in your business. You can start thinking about why you're even doing what you're doing in the first place. This business model offers self-reliance, location freedom, time freedom, and financial freedom if you set it up properly. I've had friends that own agencies that are massive, that make millions of dollars per year. In fact, maybe I'll interview some of them on this channel but that's not what I wanted. I would much prefer a smaller company that gave me an amazing lifestyle. And you can use that lifestyle to go figure out your next couple moves. And then once you have that down, you can always go back and scale that thing to the moon. If life was all about 
hard work. I'm sure you can go outside, look at the construction workers that are standing under the sun working 12 hours a day, slaving away. They should all be rich, but it's not. You have to work smart. You have to be effective in what you're doing, and you have to be extremely intentional with your business and with your life and where you want to take it. You have to think like a CEO, think like a laptop CEO, which could mean that maybe you just want an extra one or two or $3,000 per month to help with your mortgage or to help with car payments and this kind of thing. Or maybe you want to make multiple six figures and just be location free. Or being a laptop CEO could also mean making millions of dollars a year, but you're working on your laptop, your team's all remote, and you have options. My entire structure was to offer services and then offer software as a downsell. So offer something that's expensive that you can charge thousands of dollars for and then keep clients with you paying a lower fee because then they'll hit you back up and they'll want to continue working with you. If you're sitting there in your agency or in your freelancer business and you don't know what the next move is, you don't know what to do next, then that's something to consider. Sit down and start journaling of why you even got started in the first place. Make a note of what kind of business you even want to grow. Do you want to be a freelancer forever? Or do you want to have choice in options? Do you want to be on a hamster wheel where you always have to get new clients? Or would you rather have a monthly reoccurring revenue business that will continue paying you after you already set it up one time? I think as you continue growing your agency and as you get more clients, as you sign more clients, these are all very important things to keep in the back of your mind. What do you actually want? Figuring this out early will solve you tons of headaches down the line into the future. Take these principles and take these things into account next time you're signing on clients. I hope these principles help you as you continue growing and scaling your business.